So I made another change to the bridge. I started adding these round timbers, uh, which are three blocks high. And I add these ledges with battlements on the left. So now I got room to maneuver around here. Here, I had to just replace with the normal ramp and add an, a full ramp with a battlement on the side. It's a little wider on the ramp. I just couldn't figure out a better way to do it. And here, after a long while, I managed to put the diagonal timbers against these little platforms here. These little catwalks, I had to put them in so that I can put these diagonal timbers here. But still a lot of other work to do, and I'm gonna leave the bridge for a while, because today I'm gonna start building a grocery store. Welcome to Medieval Engineers. So, this is the area where I'm thinking about starting to do a grocery store on the back of the restaurant. I think here will be kind of cool. Of course, the road enters a little bit of diagonal. I think it would be better down there because here there's a hill. So we would be a little bit more challenging and I'm probably going to leave this hill to do something up here on top. Maybe a house, maybe a castle. Who knows? I'm still not sure. So, I'm going to try to adapt to the road as I did with the restaurant over there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in these things closer to the road kind of like this because this is going to be a grocery store slash supermarket and I would like to have like a parking lot but of course <laughs> not for vehicles uh, for horses you know just a place, a, a, a nice big area with some timbers where people could attach their horses and go to do some shopping. I don't know if there were supermarkets in medieval times, but in my medieval times there were. Uh, but I see a little friend over there. So let's test out my, my iron crossbow. Too short. I don't know why I'm crouching. i the game too short. It's always too short. I'm crouching to see if it doesn't run away. Nice, I hit it. And there's another one all the way there. And he's going to meet him. He's about to die. Any second now. There he goes. Because I'm kind of down on goulash. Oh, but that one saw me. God damn it. Let's take this one then. Can I loot you? No. Let's bring it over then. Nice. Look at that. I get myself a nice deer. It's going to be the first sale on the grocery store. Okay, so I was extending these little platforms of stone. The floor is going to be made of stone. And I was thinking, maybe I should just raise it up because it's going to start to dip too much and the road is going to be higher. I mean, I don't mind that the road is higher than the, than the buildings around it. It happens. Uh, sometimes it happens. The road is just a little higher. And then the water just flows into the buildings and floods everything. Uh, but I was also thinking if I should just raise it up. So let's see how it would look if it was a block higher. It, was a, it would be a little bit too high. So I could just line, try to line it up with the, with the gravity field, which is magical, as we know. And just try to raise it up a little bit. And uh, it wouldn't be totally connected to the restaurant, but let's try. So if I press O, it's lined up. And now I'm going to try to put it down until it's on a nice height. What if I put it like that? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that. It goes almost flush to the floor. I think like this it will work much better. I owed it, so it should be aligned with the place where I am right now. And it's a little nice height. It doesn't have to be perfectly aligned with the road in this in this uh, alignment, in this axis. But in terms of the floor, I think it's going to be better. Yeah, pretty cool. Maybe, just maybe, just to make it actually bring it back to what I just said. Maybe I could rotate it a little bit 
first person could be a little easier to see. Yeah, kind of like this. Yeah, it would be sweet. Maybe I put it like that. Yeah, now it's a little too high. Oh, the rotation, yeah, just a little bit, not too much. Don't snap. Well, like that. And I could be make the line coming through here. Could be more. Could actually be. I could just give it a little bit more room from the restaurant and uh, give it actually a bigger tilt so that it ends up following the road on this direction. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And there it is. So that's kind of the alignment. I think it's gonna be cool. It's right flush against the floor. Now, I don't know if it's gonna be this wide. Uh, just check if it's gonna... like it's a little tilted but no it's just fine uh, so yeah I can bring it a little closer and here it could be like a back bar a back part made of uh, of clay maybe uh, an ex an access to the back of the store could also be a possibility maybe I could do this open so there's a, like a way like into the garage or something. Let's say that the horse, a carriage, bringing goods. Instead of leaving the things in front of the store and going right through the store, they will go to the back and uh, like they do in, in the modern supermarkets, you know? That's what I'm kind of thinking. So... I'm actually just gonna change this. And I'm gonna put a different block here. Which will be that ramp on 22.5 I could go one like this and then I can just put walls here and there's a nice little block they I actually used before which is this one which kinda makes like a little barrelment but it serves as a nice wall coming down but unfortunately it's a 45 degree angle so, yeah, and there's not a real wall for 22.5 degrees. Everything is 45, yeah. A lot of blocks missing. I also have to check if I unlocked everything. Here, is everything is unlocked. Here, too. Yeah. I still need to unlock this thing, but this just unlocks... Cast the steel ingots. I already have these things. And this unlocks a catapult bucket, a rope torsion spring. Yeah, it's not siege munitions. Yeah, and do cannonballs and stuff. I pretty much unlocked everything. Yeah, there's not more, more blocks. I mean, it doesn't say over there. Maybe it just unlocks some blocks. I'm not sure. But okay, the initial D is here. This will be like the entrance for the for the back part. Which comes to the road. And then here, I'm thinking... I'm gonna do like a, a little parking lot on the side of the store. And... Uh, how big would it be? I don't know. Let's put it down blocks and let's see. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks for the grocery store. And uh, three for the parking lot. Let's put four for the parking lot. I'm calling it parking lot, but you know what I mean place to park the horses and stuff and carriages and stuff like that so the store will be here 
with a nice stone floor. I'm still considering if it's gonna be a wood building or a stone building. I think it should be a stone. To be honest, because it's a store, so you kinda wanna have the best protection possible against the elements and stuff. You're gonna have to keep a lot of food in. So maybe made out of wood wouldn't be ideal. And I have this weird feeling that this is tilted. I don't know. Does it look right? Let's throw it again. It's just a weird feeling. I think working on the bridge make me things think distorted all the time now. And uh, so this would be like the back door. And here could be another ramp to go into the store itself. And here would be a nice little storage area. Uh, pretty cool. And I'm gonna enclose this. And I think it should work. So let's stop banging away all this stone. Oh yeah, I can smell it already. Give me some goulash. It's gonna be awesome. Fortunately I'm out of stone. I'm gonna have to go get some more. And uh, there you go. I got three goloshes coming in. And uh, oh, nice. Finally, I'm gonna get the chance to eat nicely again. Okay, so I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna keep the entrance for the back door here, just one block further. And on this side will be the, the parking lot, and the grocery store will be on this side, because I figure down here I got a little bit more room to extend if I want to. Uh, so yeah. That's, that's how it's gonna be. So here, how would the entrance be? So let's start by putting the blocks that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use a door. Walls with doorways, that's the one, right? The door, yeah, that's the one. I got the pillar. Uh, I got the wall, I got the door, and I got the window. Yeah, that's pretty much all I need right now. So where would the entrance be? And I cannot, I was thinking about doing a special type of door. So I'm gonna do first the walls. I think I can put start putting down the walls kind of like this. Here let's have a nice window with shutters. There you go. And here Wall. So I'm putting the blocks on the outside. I, I don't remember if that's the best way or if I should put them in the inside. Um, let me actually check how I did here. Did I put them on the inside block or on the outside block? I put them on the inside block. And the windows open in. And what about on this side? Yeah, I put them on the... Is it inside or outside? I'm not sure. I think it's outside. And the door opens in. Yeah, I think the door... I don't know, man. The, the only thing that's gonna be different is that with the wall, like this on the outside, the roof is not gonna hang above it, it's gonna be like flush to the to the wall. If I put it on the inside, the roof is gonna hang a little bit, which looks kinda cool, but at the same time there's a little bit of a gap, and I'm not sure if I like how it finishes off. So I think I might put it on the outside, and uh, be done with it. There you go, so here is where I'm gonna have the door. So this is pretty much gonna be a, a big roof. And the, the, the divisions of the room are going to be set by the tables and the shelves and stuff like that. I would like to find a way to do some sort of cabinets, you know. Of course I'm going to have like uh, mushrooms and cabbages and stuff. And I'm kind of thinking that the entrance should be more to the side. So there I could have a window, it could be window wall, window wall, that's fine. 
another window and another wall and then here yeah here it's gonna have to be on the inside uh, yep here it can be four walls that's fine and then the entrance could be right here I'm actually gonna change put one window here there you go some windows will open out and the windows will open in that's fine uh, so there you go because the entrance being here it's like uh, I don't know it makes more sense to me having the thing to pay right here and then you're off to, to go on your way and the entrance and exit will be the same one uh, so like here I'm gonna have like the balcony where you pay and you have a little bit more stuff to sell over there but then you just turn and you got big long corridors coming through this way there you go that's how it's gonna be so let's put a few more walls here on this side I think I'm just gonna have one window in the middle and the same on the back not too many windows and I was thinking this could be like a stairway or a storage area back here yeah that wouldn't be too bad if I had it like this or maybe I can uh, because I think if I have like two sets of cabinets here I'm gonna have like three corridors I think it should be enough because the store is long so it doesn't have to be too wide so back here I could actually have a storage room which have a which would have a connection back here to where the carriage would bring the resources to unload for the store yeah so let's bring the, the big lamp let's put it down here this will be like the, the garage and this ramp is always better to point at the top part than at the lower part uh, it's just faster and uh, so here and I'm just thinking so I should continue this a little bit more but I think it should be fine like this I'm just gonna add flooring here there you go I can't go any further in this direction but this will be like the area where the the carriages would come I'll, I'm actually gonna dig out this part so this is all stone there you go and I'm almost out of stone again uh, and then I think another ramp here to go into the store Yeah, it kind of makes sense because the carriage comes, it stops here, you know, it loads everything, and the workers bring everything into the store, into the storage room, and when they need to, they go into the store itself and put everything on the shelves and stuff. So I think a ramp would be better because they would bring little carts to bring the goods in, right? They wouldn't bring everything by hand, I mean. For a grocery store, this is quite a, a big enterprise, right? Ah, I'm gonna use our imagination. That's just how it is. Uh, so there you go. This is gonna be walled. This is gonna be closed. Um, and yeah, so let's just add a few more walls here. Yeah. So here I could have another window. Definitely a door here. 
but of course it would have to be a big door for them to pass through but okay i don't have big doors there would be like a little gate there are no gates so i'm just gonna use this normal wall with the door in it and that's pretty much it so here another window and there you go and this is where they would come to park everything away So, the store. One corridor, shelf, corridor, shelf, corridor. So the storage room could be like this. There you go. And here I can just have another door. And there you go. I think that's a pretty cool layout. Just a nice open area. I might just reduce this one block, put one block behind so that I have like a little porch around. I think it would kind of cool. And I actually forgot about the, the, the parking lot, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, so I was thinking about doing the store on that side and I end up doing the entrance on this side. Um, Yeah, so let's fix it really quick. And the parking lot doesn't need to be too big. I actually forgot about it, so let's do it again. So, the entrance, yeah. Because it, it was actually pretty good for a grocery store. It doesn't have to be this big. I'm just gonna put a wall here, and it turns right there. There you go. This should be like the parking lot. People come, they drop their horses. I could even give it, give it a little bit more room. Just one more block. Yeah. Because you know, once this thing is set up, it's just a matter of starting to put down. Just a matter of building up the blocks. And uh, be done with it. And uh, there you go. I can just put a, a pillar here. So that it lines up with this one. And uh, there you go. And that's it. Here I'm just going to put railings. There you go. And this will be the layout of the grocery store. Here, it's actually even better because here is where the balcony is gonna be for payment. This way, people will have to come through the people that work here, and the store is behind them. And if they're going to go out, they have to pass through them again. You know, they work a little bit like security, definitely. If this was Imperial, I will put a security guard right here. But uh, this is not Imperial, so I think this one should be a wall. And uh, this is a window. There you go. And this will be open because I'm gonna do a custom uh, door here. This will be the storage area, which should be fine. It's long, it has a lot of room for a lot of stuff. And uh, here I could add an extra door for the workers to come through. There you go, instead of having the door here. I'm gonna have the door back here, because it will be much easier for the workers to come from the storage room into the store itself to load up the shelves and stuff uh, no it's number three there you go makes much more sense like this uh, there you go so that's it it's gonna be the grocery store 
for the next episode. Hopefully I'll have something to show. I'm gonna push time a little bit forward, finish up a few blocks. I'm gonna have to grind for more wood and stone. And uh, that's the idea. I think it would add a nice little flavor to the village, which is now starting to have to expand a little bit. I'm still considering if I'm gonna do a wall all around. Uh, actually dismantle those arches and put some walls all the way down and build like a village inside a castle. Still considering it, but for now, thank you for watching and until next time.